Hey guys, Riley Ringgold here with Team Ringgold over at Keller Williams. Um, I've noticed kind of a trend going on in today's market. Of course, we've got a seller's market. Everybody's heard that it's moving very, very quickly, which is a great thing for sellers, except for whenever they go to buy property, right? I've talked to many sellers here in the last couple months that say they would sell, but they've got to have somewhere to move. So I wanted to answer that question for you guys. How is it that we're selling properties um, when these people don't have any place to move? So there's three things a seller can do in order to sell their property and still buy a property before they have to close on there. So the first thing to know is as a seller in this market, you have control. So if you put your house on the market and you get an offer within two days, three days, five days, a week, whatever it may be, you have control. You, you can negotiate the closing date. So let's say we get an offer two days after putting your house on the market and we haven't even begun looking at houses. Well, what we can do is we can put the closing date in there 45 or 60 days out to give you a little bit more time to find a house. We can also make the sale subject to selling your property. So we put a contingency in. Everybody's heard of contingencies as far as making sure a house is sold before buying one. But a contingency for a seller to put in the contract that says, hey, we're not going to close on our house until we have another one lined up. And that's completely okay. Buyers are willing to work with you. So and last but not least, one of the last things that we can do is we can go ahead and sell your property, close the property, and then rent it back from the buyers for one or two months and give you a little bit more time to find your next home. That way you have the funds from your property, you have the funds from the sale, and you can go buy another house. And somebody may be thinking, why would a buyer agree to any of this? The buyers are desperate right now to finding a house. There's so low inventory, and that's the exact reason we're having this conversation, is because we've got low inventory. So buyers are losing out on deals. They're going to multiple offer situations and missing out on a deal. They're uh, maybe not being able to see a property quick enough because it's sold before they can get off work or sold before they can schedule an appointment with their real estate agent. So these are things that we can do in order for you to put your house on the market, get it sold, and still have enough time to purchase a new home. Nobody's going to force you to sell your house. So if we get it on the market and we get a full price offer in five days, sure, it's probably a good idea to try to um, do one of the other three items. But if you're just not ready yet, we can decline any offers that you don't want to take. It all depends on your comfort level. And something else that we do for buyers and a seller that's selling a home to buy a home is also a buyer is we proactively prospect for your home. We get a list of criteria, a list of needs and wants that you're looking for in your next house. Give us a general area and we're going to send out mailers. We're going to go knock on doors. We're going to give phone calls to everybody in that area to see if they might be thinking about making a move. Because who knows, they could be in the same position as you. They could be sitting there thinking, man, I'd sell my house because the market's really good. I'd make good money, but there's just nothing out there. What if we could set up a house swap? What if somebody's, you know, downsizing and the other family is wanting to upsize a little bit? We can make that happen. So there's just a quick video for you guys. I hope this was informative. Um, just a little bit of creativity that we're bringing to the market. Um, Want to make sure everybody has an opportunity out there to buy or sell a home if that's what you're looking to do. Thanks. We'll see you next time.